a very good friend of mine I've known for a long time. We were enjoying a cup of coffee in Colorado together and reminiscing about when we were really young, just starting a business and raising our families. We were discussing that although our kids didn't experience the same level of difficulties that we did, that we want to instill the same values generationally. As you get a little older, you begin to think about legacy and even your own kids' children. As we talked about our humble beginning, something very important occurred to us as to how we are today as a result of decisions we made many years ago. We had both done without initially, and so maybe it was easier to sacrifice and save. So that's how we landed on this as the key and began to repeat the phrase to each other, sacrifice and save, save and sacrifice. It kind of became our mantra for the week. We were skiing together and we still talk about it today. The decision to sacrifice and put off having something you want is a discipline and takes some willpower. The reality is many of these things we probably want are just that, probably a want and not necessarily a need, or this could be some other version that would be just fine. By making this decision of sacrifice, it allows you to take, the, take that money you didn't spend to be saved. This savings might be invested in a business or some other type of investment vehicle like a stock, mutual fund, or real estate. Then enough times, over and over, sacrificing and saving, then investing this begins to throw off profits or returns that then can be enjoyed with a little indulgence, or it can be reinvested again. So I ask you, how much have you sacrificed? I will tell you there comes some joy with being disciplined and sacrificing, which also makes it much sweeter when you do achieve something you desire, but instead by spending the returns from your savings and not the savings themselves. I think this can be something like a drug. Once you experience it working, you want to do it over and over again. The real difficulty though is it takes time to work and you have to have faith it will work. So I challenge you to sacrifice and save, save and sacrifice. Then go one step further and teach your children if you have kids so that this mentality is rooted and takes hold in your family generationally as a discipline to sacrifice and save and save and sacrifice. Nice.